Okay, we're going to go ahead and start designing our first part, which is the front wall part on the uh, table napkin box. So, we'll go ahead and create a new file here in SOLIDWORKS. Make sure we're set to our analysis display. I want to go ahead and accept that. When SOLIDWORKS comes up, it's going to it's going to display the screen, and from there you're going to be able to pick and choose what your working minutes are. If I come down here and look, you can see in the lower right, I'm set to inch pound second. If you're set to MMGS, millimeter gram second, go ahead and select uh, inch pound second, and then once you've done that, let's go back up there and edit the uh, digital readout. So our readout currently right now is set to two decimal places, so we'll click on that field and we'll take it to four. We'll do the same thing on dual dimension length. On angle, we'll leave it alone. That's fine. We'll come down here to uh, mass and section properties. We'll accept that. So now I've got that the way I want it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to this pull down and I'm going to change my background. I like the work of a light background. Now, as you can see across the top here, I have a lot of commands on my heads up display. The way I do that, these are commands that I use often. And I use them very much a lot. For example, like here, the view commands as well as uh, the background, whether I want to see uh, shadows or whatever, or center lines. Let's show you how to customize this. So we'll come up here to Tools, we'll drop down here to Customize, and we'll come up to our commands. Now, if there's a command up there that I don't want, say it's the uh, uh, Mirror Entities command, I'll just take and tear it off and get rid of it, get it out of there. Uh, as you can see here, I've got uh, the measurement and I got section uh, mass properties here. Well, I don't need those twice. I'll get rid of this one here. Let's get rid of that. And I'll get rid of the ruler and the measurement there. So if I want to add a command, I would come down here to say sketch tools. And maybe I want to put back the one I use often, which would be the uh, mirror entities. I'll put it back up here. And that's how I customize it. So that's how we customize our heads up display for commands that we use commonly. Now, we've got our unit set correctly, got our background right, so let's go ahead and go to the right plane and do a right mouse click and set, set ourselves normal to that view. So I'll start off my sketch with a center line. I'll go uh, vertical, infinite, I'll place it right on this red triad or datum as you see here. Well, I'll go ahead and accept that line, then I'm going to create another line that's horizontal and it's infinite, and I'll step, snap to this right here. Now, once I've done that, I'll just kind of come up here a little bit, and I'll go ahead and jump over to Smart Dimensions, and I'm going to key in the height of this front page, this front part. Now, granted that our our napkin box, our table napkin box, is a basically about six by four. Well, on the front lid, we have to account for the fact we've got a quarter inch piece of plywood coming down that's locking basically uh, on the four inch uh, measurement. So, with that said, we'll go ahead and reduce this to three point uh, seven one eight eight of an inch. That's going to be the height of our box. So if you can't see your screen, use your middle mouse button to roll in and out, as you see I've done here. Let's go ahead now and start drawing our sketch for the left side of our lock box. I'll come out here to about uh, a little over four, and I'll start designing my notches. Typically, I like to stay under uh, the measurement that I'm working with. And I'll come up here to this, here. And I'll go ahead and put these fingers in for my finger joint. Come up here to this, and I'll come over here to this uh, uh, center line here, and I'll hit escape, and there's my line set. Granted, it's not measured, but we'll go ahead and work with that. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and set this to uh, a quarter of an inch because the thickness of my material is 2.5. So, I'll go ahead and stick that in there and just scale it down. And then, now what I'll do is accept that dimension, scroll out a little bit. And I'll come in here and add a relationship. So the first one I want to get is the one I just dimensioned, which is the first relationship. And that's the first segment. And I'll come up to the next one, next one, and so on. And I'll go ahead and say I want to make all of these equal. So it just made them all equal for me. That's good. Now what I'll do is just quickly verify that through the measurement command. And I'll measure from here to here, and let's clear this out real quick, here, here, and it tells me that it's a quarter of an inch, that's good. 
So we'll go ahead and end that. And we'll go we'll do a right mouse click and go back to our select uh, arrow. So now we'll start dimensioning these bottom uh, fingers here and the notches. So we'll go back to sketch from up here to <clears throat> this one segment, 8.5 of an inch. And I'll come back across this way, 8.5. here at point five. I'm not going to dimension this last one here because it's really not necessary. I'll go ahead and check this off. Um, that shows me how my part is laid out. Now one last dimension I need to make uh, for this size here is I got to take the overall dimension of the part which is basically 6.9375 6 uh, of an inch. I'm going to divide that by two and that's going to give me that one wall side and that looks really good so we'll accept that now what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to do a rebuild and we need to save our work so we'll save this part and I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder real quick and I'm going to call this uh, napkin box and actually I'll do this create a new folder I'm going to call this napkin box 2 I've already created this uh, table napkin box once before and really enjoyed doing it. And I had it set in its own folder, so I'm going to call this one um, Front uh, Part. And I'll use some version control 001. And I'll go up to the front just so I can get my files can use. And I'll say T and B underscore table napkin box uh, Front Part 2. So go ahead and accept that. So it's going ahead and done that for me. Now, go back to the sketch. I'm going to edit that sketch and I'm going to mirror entities. So I'll go ahead and select these entities and I'll mirror about this center line. Always make sure you get the copy button selected. So do that and it gives you a preview in yellow and shows you what it's going to look like. So go ahead and accept that. So all the work we did over here is now replicated on this side. Well, again, I'll rebuild. I'll save my model and then I'll come back to sketch and I'll go to features this time and I'll say extrude cut excuse me extrude base boss and I'm going to go ahead and give it a thickness of 0.25 of an inch so if my material is 0.25 uh, of an inch thick and there it goes and it extrudes that well it looks pretty good except things in steel uh, we're not making a box out of steel so we'll edit that materials by doing a right mouse click on material not specified now let me stop here for a moment show you another way to edit the material when you come up here to edit Come down to appearance, go over here to material, and then you get over here to this. Well, that's just too much work, so I'll get out of that. Just right mouse click, edit material, just basically one mouse click. Come down here to woods, and I'm going to select oak because I'm working with oak plywood in this example. I'll apply that, and I'll hit close. Everything looks pretty good except the, woods, the wood grain is going the wrong direction. Not a problem. We'll come out here, and we can uh, look at the wood grain we're using. Uh, the other method is I'll take and grab this and slide it over and let's go back to features and click on this double arrow and you're going to see appearance. So I'll pick on that appearance and click on it and it's going to open up the appearance uh, uh, this appearance uh, manager here. We'll come down to uh, select uh, mapping and scroll down here and we'll select 90 degrees on the rotation of our of our texture. Accept that and now the part looks really good. So go ahead and save this and <clears throat> now what we're going to do is on our front part we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, select this face right here and we're going to set ourselves normal to it and then what I'm going to do is create a new sketch and I'm just going to get a, a rectangular corner that tool. I'll scroll up here making sure that I highlight the edge of the dashed orange line but not select 
the uh, midpoint. Grab that, scroll out here, go to the next one, scrolling in and out using my little scroll button. Click on that. And now what I'll do is I will dimension this because I know the material I'm working with is going to be an eighth of an inch, not a quarter, so let's say 0.125. That's going to make up our floor. This is the cut we're going to make for the floor of our box. I'm going to come up here now and select the bottom of this and the bottom of my cut line. And we're going to make that 3 sixteenths, so point 0.1875. Now, well, that's pretty good so far. Accept that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a, an extrude cut this time. And to see it better, I'm going to go to 3D. Kind of scroll up here. Oh, got a problem. It's going all the way through. Well, it's going all the way through because it remembered our last uh, dimension we keyed in. It's got a couple options here. I can come up here and key a 1 in right here. Or I can just come over here and key a slash 2. And I'll make it an eighth of an inch. That looks much better. I'm going to accept that. So it's going to go ahead and make that cut for us. We'll come down here and just double check the ends, make sure everything's good. And then we'll do a rebuild. And we'll just uh, control B is for rebuild and control S to save our file. And there you have it our first part, the uh, front wall of our uh, table napkin box. We'll come back to this later.